Welcome back. So things happened pretty quick over the weekend with this particular plug. Uh, the guys were in, Roberto and Chris were in and, and uh, glassed it quickly. And uh, so I didn't even get a chance to actually uh, take any video before uh, Jeff was spraying it first thing on Monday morning. Uh, so here it is just uh, getting its coat of putty on there. And it wasn't long, around about lunchtime we had it up on the machine and uh, milling it. So not wasting any time in here. You can see just starting out uh, with the ball mill just on these uh, corners of the flanges there that are sort of rounded so you need to do those with the bore mill. So I decided to do that first because the flat mill passes were going to take a while. And here it is just starting out the flat mill pass and that ran all, all through um, Monday night and uh, into Tuesday morning and then we had to slide it down and uh, do the rest of it today. So um, good progress on that. And so here you can see this is this morning now. It's been uh, slid down on the table and uh, milling the flat mill on the far end. So this is the end where the strake is closest to the fuselage where it's milling right now. And you see it's just starting out on the biggest area there and just running uh, running that. So we didn't have any problems with this one. Um, everything went fairly smoothly. Um, so didn't have to uh, redo anything, which is good news. And this is around about lunchtime, getting close to finishing uh, that big sort of field area. Well, actually, I think it was kind of mid-morning. It takes a while to run those big areas because the step over is so small. And this is um, the upper uh, left strake, uh, wing strake, and see Zach's uh, carefully sanding that. We don't want to mess that one up because the airfoil is really critical there, so he's being very meticulous with his sanding. And here we are on the plug again and just on the ball mill just running the final passes around the edge of the flange there before finishing off so it pretty much took the whole day to actually finish that off um, so that's one down and uh, three more to go in terms of the big wing skins and also over the weekend the guys uh, Roberto and Chris they trimmed a whole bunch of these molds that had been done so that was the um, lower air intake tray and this is the air intake scoop so they trimmed those and they also did the ones for the doors and the cowling one and the dash one. There was a whole bunch of them that they did. So they really were working hard on the weekend. And uh, here's the different ones. The doors here ready uh, with those braces that uh, I cut the other day. So those are going to get uh, um, glassed into place uh, soon. Actually, probably with carbon fiber to match the molds because we want to keep the materials the same. And then uh, that mold will be ready to lay up the door skin so that's uh, coming along and here's Zach just taking the peel ply off of the uh, the rear seat mounts um, mold uh, so that can get its uh, layers of uh, heavy glass put on there and there's the finished product for that uh, wing skin there with all all the milling completed and you can see it actually came out really nicely so we'll be uh, making up a platform uh, tomorrow to start the next one, which will be uh, the left side lower wing skin, and hopefully get that done within about four days, which is what it took to do this one. And there's the uh, dash mold there, and it's had some braces uh, put on there, so it can sit nicely on a table or whatever when it's being laid up. And Roberto and Chris are back in this evening and so here they are putting the heavy layers on the um, mold for the front seat mounts and you see actually putting a bit of a mixture here so they're putting glass but also some carbon fiber and the reason why they're using the carbon fiber there is just it's it molds more easily around complicated um, corners and stuff than the glass does so that's why you see the two different uh, things going on there. And lastly Kyle had sent through this picture the other day so this is one half of the lower housing that contains the uh, shaft that connects up to the crankshaft of the engine. So uh, they're doing some milling and making some progress but he's in the middle of moving his shop right now so things are sort of slowing down a little bit but anyway this uh, particular thing's not on the critical path. Anyway that's our update for the first half of this week. Thanks again for watching.